Vor că de am tot ce am fi în sat, în aicam avem vor gântuniste așa de des, în așa de sorveli, am mulțumit. Iar mec vorbesc așa de des, voci vață, am menor, am menor, am sorvelu, merg din roci sus, Hristos în vațin. Iar e gol. În sfert, Hristos, așa de des, nu s-a, ca să e așa de des, dar tu ți-ai, mezme, iura, ca în ciură, să dau ceva de des. Vor merg în mațină. Ai vor Iisus în mațină în citider. Aniga Iisus în așa gher tarțime. Șaptăși vor 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 Bătă tipul, bătă sorbit mai avat din masin, iar mai gâncova, bătă arda hai de mai avat că. Vorbesc cu Hristos și jos care mai gâncii mai ce la gâncii nu dar nu. Avem conarul gâng gâng, avem ciro gâng, mai faci mai ușin arat, arcele gâng. Vorbesc și, ha bine la gâng gâncii mai, ascam piroci ne dai tu la ieri jos care, ira gâncii nu dar nu mai gâncii mai. Să dă ai o de tunes iantă, iar me cu ai cuvați iantă, mergeci un închier să ai dat din cu parcă. Dear brothers and sisters, we read the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark this morning. A reading in which the gospel writer depicts the story of the resurrection. We read about the three women. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome, who purchased spices, and they went to the tomb of Jesus to anoint the body of Jesus. As they were walking to the tomb, they had a major concern. Because these women were with Jesus, even at the time of his crucifixion. They witnessed the sufferings of the Lord. They also were aware where he was buried, under what conditions was he buried, the location, the place of his tomb. And they knew that there was a big stone that was serving as a gate to the place of his burial. And this was their concern. Who will roll that stone so that we can get through the grave? To anoint the body of Jesus. When these women arrived, they saw the stone which was their concern was rolled away. They saw the angel of God wearing all white and telling them, You are looking for the crucified Jesus, but he is not here. He has risen. The angel gave them the good news, the best news that they could ever hear. This is the account of the resurrection, my friends. We read this on every Easter Sunday. And most of us concentrate on the message of the resurrection. Our focus goes to the message of the resurrection. Today, however, I would like to invite your attention to these three women and the concern that they had. It was a major concern because they knew that somebody had to help them to get through that stone which was serving as a gate. However, that did not stop them from their mission. It was a concern in their mind, but they walked. And, they went, and when they arrived there, God has taken care of that stone. And they were able to experience the risen Lord. We as Christians are invited to have that same encounter with the risen Lord. I'm almost positive that here in this congregation, we have people who have already encountered the risen Lord. In their spiritual life, in the deep of their heart, they have experienced the riches of having the risen Lord in their lives. 
And I know that there are others who have not experienced the presence of the Lord in their lives. They have not encountered the risen Lord because there are stones blocking them from that experience. And I'm not trying to trivialize anybody's problems here. I know that in life, we struggle. There are a lot of problems that we have to face in our daily lives. And sometimes we think, we think that the barrier between us and the Lord is too big, is huge, and we cannot do anything about it. The lesson of these three women, my friends, tells us that having concerns in our lives is okay. However, we need to learn how to handle the concerns, how to deal with the hurdles that we have in our lives. And we need to present our problems to the Lord, saying, Lord, this is my problem. I want you to take care of it because I want to experience you in my life. The woman went to anoint a dead body. However, when they went there, they witnessed the resurrection of our Lord. My friends, we might have certain expectations of life. However, when we give it all to the Lord, when we entrust all our joys and troubles to the Lord, God will give us the unexpected. Our lives will be changed. Today it gives me great pleasure to see some faces that I haven't seen almost in a year. I'm happy to see you here. And I'm praying today for you that through this service, through the Word of God, you might experience a change in your hearts. A change that will make your lives a better life. That will increase the level of spirituality within you. Because that is our real calling. That is what God has called us in this life for. Sirene Ramadatsyaner, Mia Sabaray Sor, Gubokshen, Christos Harya Imerenos. Ortia de Antimo Christosi, Toharutia de Ortezes, Aishem, Yehavidians. Amen.